So I recently went to a reptile expo and got my hands on these massive silkworms. Now I don't get my hands on silkworms often so I thought it'd be fun to film a little video for you guys of feeding my chameleons silkworms. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So this is what the silkworms come in. Um, as you can see, if you look closely, some of them are already starting to cocoon up, which means these guys are definitely full-grown silkworms, pretty massive. They've got the food at the top there, and then the poop falls down at the bottom, very similar to hornworms. There they are, a little bit better view. Silkworms are very nutritional for your chameleon. Like this is something that you could feed on a regular basis. Um, they're not always the easiest to find, but I know a lot of keepers who do breed their own silkworms, so that's something that you could consider doing. Because they have their food there down at the bottom or top, however you put your cup, um, we don't have to worry about gut loading though, so we can just take these guys right out. All right, victim number one. Boop. Victim number two. Boop. We're just going to start with two worms. Eh, this is hard to do one-handed. Two worms per chameleon and then just see how that goes. There you go. Um, need two more victims. Volunteers. Whoa. Excuse me. Excuse me. Let me go. Eh, that's kind of gross. Alright. I'm just like flying worms. Alright, we may need an to use two hands. Oh, wait, we got two. All right, there's two. There we go. Okay, cool. And then we're going to be using calcium without vitamin D3. This is just plain calcium. There's calcium that comes with or without vitamin D3. So you want to be primarily using without vitamin D3. So now I'm just going to take a little pinch and then sprinkle that on top of there. We do this three times for three chameleons. And last but not least, there we go. And then we just want to shake that so that there is a nice coating. I mean, these guys are already white, so it's kind of hard to tell, but you want there to be a light dusting, nothing crazy, no powder donuts, but enough that it's on there. There we go. And last one. And pro tip, make sure you put the lid back on so you don't have worms crawling all over your apartment. Not that I'm speaking from personal experience or anything, so and we just store them upside down like that. So there we have it, two worms per chameleon. So since all of my guys are adults, they're eating around three to four bugs every two to three days, depending on how big the bugs are, but because these worms are a little bit on the bigger side, we're just gonna start out with two worms, and these are in these little bird feeder cups that are great to put onto your branches in your chameleon enclosure. These are linked in the Amazon store in my bio, so feel free to check those out. Dun, 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 dun. Now it's time to feed them to the chameleons. So the first thing I do is open up all of their enclosures. So we'll start with that. This just makes it easier for me to pop between and then while each chameleon's chewing, then that gives them time. We've got Luna, she's like way back there and you can see she's getting ready to shed. And then Neptune's in here somewhere. Oh, I can see him moving in the back. There he is, my big scaredy cat. And it looks like Neptune took a poop earlier today, so if you're wondering what a healthy chameleon poop looks like, that's it, right there. So, let's clean this up first. <laughs> so I cup feed all of my chameleons, and if time allows, I will hold the cups with my hands and hand feed them that way. But what's cool about the bird feeders is that you can actually hang these inside your enclosure, so you can just place them right up in here on the branch like so and then your chameleon can just eat from that and not have to worry about you and apollo is looking like he's wanting to come out he does this pretty often so we'll just see if he's interested in the little buggies do you want them yes no maybe kind of sort of oh Oh, he's going for it. 
He's definitely gonna go for it. Now he just has to decide which one. Wait for it. Boom! Oh my god, he got two! Two for the price of one! Nice job, Apollo. One victim down, one to go. Is that yummy? Ooh! That was a squirter. Oh, and there goes the head. Nice job. And he's a goner. And you can see Apollo is in the middle of shedding. So that's why he looks like this. And we have Neptune acting like a total scaredy cat per usual. This is what he does all the time. And these are Neptune's bugs. If you have a chameleon that's scared of you, like Neptune is, you know, puffing like this, gaping, hissing, running away, um, you can just practice cup feeding with them. And if you're not quite ready to cup feed, you can just leave your hand by their enclosure. You can see, yep. As soon as I put my hand near him, he runs away and is showing defensive scared behavior. Yep, opening his mouth like that, running away, all this. So you can just practice standing by and I'll just leave my hand here and see if he'll you know, realize that I'm not gonna eat him and that he actually does want these bugs. So stay tuned. Yep, see, he's all bluff. Nice. You got two too. Oh, don't drop it. Don't, oh, what do you do? You're in the cup. What are you doing? You can't, you can't be in the cup. Everyone wants to see you. They want to see you eat your wormies. What are you doing just chilling on the cup like that? Oh, and he's a goner. Bye, Neptune. You know, I can still see you back there. You're not hiding very well. This is pretty common for him. He's, he's a big scaredy cat. And Apollo's still chilling, wanting to come out and probably wants more bugs too. Sorry, kiddo. And last but not least, we have Luna. She's probably my slowest eater. Gotta get Neptune's door out of the way. Now she's all the way back here in this little corner looking like a snowflake cause she's getting ready to shed. So we'll see if we can kind of coax her out with the buggies and get her from out of that corner. This is way back there. And I just, I'm holding these down here to see if I can angle them so they'll catch her attention. I can see her little eyeballs looking at him. And Neptune's still scared. <laughs> And <laughs> still puffing up at me. Hi, honey. I know. I see you. You're very cute and scary. Okay, so I, I much rather prefer cup feeding because it's much safer than your command potentially damaging their tongue on tongs. But we're just gonna gonna take a wow, these are like very much stuck Wow! Together. Okay. Excuse me. Okay, well, that's just, I guess that works. We're gonna kind of dangle him and see if we can get Luna's attention. She's right back there. You see her little eyeball. Eat me! Eat me! Look, two for the price of one. He's thinking about it. Okay, she's on the move. We got her attention. So now we're gonna try and get her to come to the front so you guys can watch her eat. Whoa! Careful, Lar. Okay, now they're back in the cup. I feel like some 
National Geographic like photographer. And there she is, the wild chameleon approaching her prey. Wondering if this will be her last meal. The worms are completely oblivious that their doom is in the near future. She slowly approaches her prey, choosing her moves very carefully. Dana, 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 Dana. Go for it. Oh, here we go. Boom. So I've spent a lot of time working with my chameleons, getting them comfortable to eat in front of me. If your chameleon won't eat in front of you, don't stress about it. They're shy eaters, right? It took me months and months of working with my chameleons on a consistent basis for them to no longer be afraid of eating in front of me. So just be patient. And if it doesn't work out for your chameleon, there's plenty of other ways to feed them. And if you're wanting to learn the different ways you can feed a chameleon, how much to feed your chameleon, what to feed your chameleon, be sure to check out my playlist, How to Feed a Chameleon, to learn more. And that's a wrap. Everyone is fed. Apollo still wants to come out. Here, let's see. Oh, I'm just gonna slowly put your other hand over there. Yeah, come on. Do, 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 do. There we go. I highly suggest wearing a long sleeve if you own a person's chameleon because their nails, you can kind of see there, like little daggers. Yeah. Little claws. Hi, Apollo. Hopefully one day they'll meet. Okay, dude. Let's see if we can get you back in. No, no, no. Other way. Other way. Go. Onto the branch. Thank you. Ha. Huh. Yes. Almost there. Yeah. Woo hoo hoo. Thank you very much, sir. I hope you enjoyed your meal. <laughs>